Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, another chilly day here, but it's sunny, so I wanted to get out here on the porch. Okay, so <clears throat> with my 2020 poll, the next uh, most requested thing from my patrons was <clears throat> they want to learn how to begin to start playing alone in public places, okay? Now, <clears throat> I realize that this is a very scary thing, especially if you've never done it before. Um, you're putting yourself out there and you know somebody sees an instrument, any instrument, and they sort of flock to it. That's just human nature, you know, they want to hear it. Ooh, look at that. It's flashy. I want to see it. And you know, a banjo. Come on, everybody wants to hear the banjo play. So they're going to come. Okay, so what I'm going to do here in this video is I'm going to talk about how you can gradually do this to make it a little less scary and to just get your feet wet and get out there and start doing this okay so it's just a systematic little approach to this okay so step number one is be able to play a couple songs on your banjo all right you don't have to be a virtuoso here just a couple of songs that you can play on your banjo okay at that point you're ready to start all right so once you can do that so one of the first things you need to do is um, you need to start playing for your family and friends, okay? I don't care if you have toddlers, whatever, you know, play for your toddlers. That's playing in front of someone, right? <clears throat> play for your family and friends. Um, that is the first step. You're obviously going to be nervous the first time you do it, but then after a while you'll get more comfortable with it. Then you start with these steps. Go ahead and begin by getting out on your porch, okay? Now, I realize people don't all live in a country like me, but if you live in a city, wherever, you can mute your banjo to make it a little quieter. <clears throat> but go ahead and sit outside. Obviously, if it's too cold, you can't do this. But sit outside when you can and begin to play. People around you will hear it. Your neighbor, somebody walking by, if you're in a, a complex or something like that, the person above you or the person below you might hear it. Um, start doing things like that, okay? So we're just sort of putting our toe into the water, just a touch there, okay? Other ways you can do this are take your banjo with you when you're going somewhere in your car. If you're going to work anywhere anywhere you go okay um, and make a point to do this right put it in your car let's say you're going to work and you get a 15 minute break at work go to your car on the break get that banjo out you may have to sit in the back seat <laughs> get your banjo out put the windows down and play people may hear you or they may not hear you the point of this is just to get you in that you know in the back of your mind you're going oh somebody could walk by oh my goodness what if they hear me you're wanting I'm wanting you to just get out there just a tiny bit you know people are not really gonna walk up to your car most likely <laughs> but um, so Try that, okay? When you go to a mall or Walmart, anywhere, okay? Park at the end of the parking lot. You know, you don't have to park in the middle of everything. You can park over at the end. This is a good way to start. Park at the end where you can see people going by, but put those windows down and play, okay? The next thing would be go to a park or any sort of public place like that where there's lots of people around and get off to the side all right and this can be done indoors too if you have like a huge mall or something like that go to that area of the mall where very few people are that edge over there by the like the glasses place and you know one of those um like the drugstore and the glasses shop or at the end or something where nobody walks very much anymore <laughs> go over there and sit on a bench and or sit on the floor in the corner whatever you can do sit there mute your banjo down if you got your dulcimer take it out 
and just start to play quietly. Now, you don't have a hat in front of you or anything like that. You're not sitting there busking, okay? This is just starting to get your feet into the water, okay? So, people may come by and they're just going to walk by and they're probably not going to pay you much attention. And that's kind of what we want to do to start out here with it. People are not going to pay you too awful much attention, but they're going to hear and mostly you're going to know that people are hearing you, okay? Now, things are going to happen. You're going to screw up. Just get that out of your head right now. Uh, you're not going to play perfectly. Not going to happen, all right? You're going to screw up. How you handle that screw up is something, it's a skill, and you will learn to deal with that the more you do this, okay? So we start, I'm sorry, I'm shivering just a little bit, had a little bit of a wind <laughs> gust and it was cold. So get your foot in the water by doing that, okay? And uh, another thing to do like this is <coughs> if somebody you know is having some sort of a gathering, a barbecue, my favorite, right? A barbecue or a party in their house or any anything like that where you're going to some sort of social gathering where you can grab your banjo. You're not on stage or anything like that. They haven't billed you as, oh, Jim's coming over with his banjo. Everybody be ready. No, nothing like that. You just sort of have it with you and you just maybe ask the person, hey, can I go get my banjo and just sort of go in the corner? Um and try this out, you know, and so you, you go and you get your banjo and you go off into the corner. People are still at parties and things like that. People are still just talking to each other. They're not really paying that much attention to the music. The music is just sort of a background thing. Okay. But you are there with your, your instrument and you're terrified because, oh my goodness, there's 20 people at this party or more or less, whatever. Um, so that is a good thing to do. Get in the corner, start playing your two songs or however many you have. Start playing them, okay? Now, some things are gonna happen as you go along and continue with this process. You're gonna find people um, reacting differently to it. There's gonna be a lot of people that pay you no attention whatsoever, and that's fine. Um, you know they're there and it scares you, okay? Um, and we want, I just want you to get used to that feeling and learn how to deal with it. It's, it's, you can learn how to deal with it. Um, but people will react to you several different ways. You got the one that'll just pay no mind to you. Then you have the opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, the one that will come up to you <laughs> and that's what it'll feel like. Um, and ask you 4,000 questions while you're playing. Those are a little bit tougher to deal with, okay? <laughs> because you're trying to concentrate on your song or whatever, and they're not meaning probably to interrupt you, but they are. They're disrupting what you're doing. Um, to deal with those, you just be nice, you know? You be nice, you play through your song, then you answer some questions, then you go, hey, I'm gonna play again, that sort of thing. So you've got those two types, right? Here's the fun type, the one that I love to see, and you'll get this. I promise you, if you get out there and do this, you're going to get this. You'll have the person come up to you and they'll, <clears throat> they'll come up to you in, in one of two ways. The first way is they'll either, they'll either wait till you uh, are done with the song and say, Ooh, I got my guitar in the car. Can I go get it and play with you? That's the first thing they'll do. Or the second type of person like this will just have their guitar case in their hand and come up to you and go, Ooh, can I join it? Okay. These are the most fun. You can have some of the best fun here, right here with this person. Um, and it, I just said guitar because that's like the most popular thing, but any instrument goes here. I have had people come up to me with some strange instruments, okay? And that is totally fine. It's a lot of fun, okay? It makes for a great time. So do that, right? You've got those three types. Then you've got the type that will stand there and watch you and pay very close attention to you and not really say much. They may clap or laugh, you know, when it's over, but they may not really say much. And those people are just very curious and they just want to listen to music and they don't really want anything from you and they're just enjoying that time. And, that, and that's great too, okay? So those are kind of the spectrum that I've ran into. I haven't really run into anybody being totally mean or cruel or anything like that. 
Um, I'm not going to say that can't happen. Obviously it can. But I haven't really run into that. Now, one thing that I've run into uh, is where I tried to join into a jam session where every single person there knew each other and had played for years together and it didn't quite mesh. Okay. Um, and I was, this was years ago, um, but I didn't quite mesh with them and I got some not, not mean or cruel comments, but I got some comments that told me it was time to get up and leave. <laughs> and that's what I did. But what I did was, it, this was at a festival. Um, they had music playing. It was outside, you know, festival. And um, there, there were a few jam sessions going. I joined in with that one for mm, maybe 10 minutes. You kind of get the feel for a jam session when you go into it. Um, and some you're just not going to be meshing with. And you, you can't take that, you know, to heart or anything. Uh, not all jam sessions are equal. You know, they're not all the same. You shouldn't be in every single one, you know. So if you get kind of the snub, don't worry about it. Get up and go somewhere else. It's, it's not a big deal. Music is just, don't worry about that, okay. So what I did there was I walked around a little bit and I ended up at a park bench where I just pulled out my banjo and started playing. Within five minutes, I had a couple of guitars and I had a guy who had a notebook and he was drumming on it and that was really cool. But um, anytime you're at some sort of festival, something like that, um, there'll be all kind of people doing stuff like that all over the place. So there's no rules as far as how you get heard in public, you know. So if you want to, uh, if that's one of the, you know, something that interests you, you see my daughter chasing a chicken. I have a chicken out. Oh, I have escaped chickens. Um, but if one of your goals is to get out there and she's in shorts, did you see my daughter's in shorts? I'm over here shivering because <clears throat> it's very warm in the house, but uh, if that's one of your goals, then you need to start working towards it, okay? So you've got all those types of people that are going to come up to you um, that you might experience. And so what we want, what I want you to do is just start doing these things more and more and more. Obviously, the weather is going to play a role there. You may not be able to get out quite as much in the wintertime, which is what time of year it is right now. But I don't want you to be afraid, so afraid that you refuse to even try, okay? Um... If this is one of your goals, then you need to start making it happen. Things, just start putting yourself out there in small little splashes. You know, you don't want to go up on stage the first time you're ever heard, you know, in public. That's not a good idea, okay? <coughs> Other things, if you're visiting a friend's house, you can say, hey, you mind if I bring my banjo? I just wanted to play for you the new song I'm working on, whatever. Just even if it takes three minutes to pull out your banjo, tune it up, uh, you know, and play through whatever that little song is, just having someone else hear you and having to, it's almost like performing, having to play that for someone else, okay, that is a great way to start doing this, okay. Okay, so obviously weather and things like that is going to have an effect on what you're able to do and how far you're able to go with this. But I want you to be thinking about this, thinking about occasions when you can play for other people, okay? It's not that you're getting on stage. I, I don't want you to get the wrong impression. You're not getting on stage. But you're putting your toe out there into the water and dipping it in uh, with some of these things. Now, if you've done this, I do hope that you will comment below and tell people how you did it. What were some of the things you did when you were first trying to put yourself out there playing so other people could hear it? Um, so that we can get some other ideas going here. Um, another thing is to uh, be jamming with others. That's obviously how you can play in front of other people. The chicken has, my escape chicken has jumped out again. 
So I have to end this and go get her. <laughs> and get round her up. She does not want to be caged. And that is Silver. <sighs> she's a she's a naughty little chicken. But uh, we have a lot of predators around here. And we've lost some of our chickens. So we have to take care of them. Um, but... Okay, I'm going to end this video right now with that. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. And if you did like it, please give me a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Shoot me a comment down below. Uh, tell me how you started out doing that. And uh, tell me how you're going to start doing that. I want you to always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.